There is some relief in Covington tonight after the state's decision to try to temporarily shut down the BD plant, which sterilizes medical equipment. The plant has leaked cancer-causing ethylene oxide, including a recent leak the state says went unreported. 11 Live's Doug Richards is back from Covington. Doug, you had a chance to talk to the mayor there. That's right, Cheryl. For the last three months, the ethylene oxide story has mostly fixed on a plant in Cobb County owned by another company called Sterigenics. The BD plant in Covington does much the same thing with the same chemical, except it's much bigger. The Smyrna plant closed two months ago, maybe. I think we should have, too. Um, Alyssa Hunt lives a quarter that. mile from the sprawling BD plant, which uses ethylene oxide to sterilize medical equipment. After learning the plant leaked more than 54 pounds of ethylene oxide last month, the state took notice and filed court documents Monday asking a judge to shut it down. It appears BD has taken few, if any, demonstrable steps to reduce emissions of ethylene oxide at the facility, the state wrote in court documents. I think it's long overdue, though. It's long overdue, and I think it should have been done years ago. I mean, they did have information, and they let it go by. For decades, the facility known here as the Bard plant had been a civic mainstay, one of Covington's top 10 employers with more than 700 people on the payroll. Mayor Ronnie Johnston still considers himself a booster, even though he asked the plant to voluntarily shut down earlier this month. The company declined. Uh, it's a tough situation. There's a lot of people working out there that live in the city of Covington, supporting a lot of families. So we are, we are very sensitive to that issue, but at the same time, this is about those employees, too. How many people use And Johnston stuff? says the health those, of those, those employees. In a statement, BD says the demand from the state to shut down is part of a consistent misunderstanding and misplaced public hysteria about ethylene oxide, an unnecessary move given the company's high level of cooperation. But Mayor Johnston described the state's lawsuit as, quote, great news. And it's also a sad day. Uh, um, and I, but I, I actually, let me replace the word sad with hopeful day. And the reason why is because I believe there are solutions out there. Mayor Johnston cites BD's plan to invest $8 million in the Covington plant to improve its ability to contain ethylene oxide. The state is still awaiting a court date on its request to close the Covington plant, Cheryl. All right, Doug, thanks a lot.